welcome back to Structure Traders. Today's video is going to be on how to navigate Sierra Charts. So we're we'll doing a couple of videos for you guys, uh, for those who are using Sierra Charts, and also if you guys want to learn how to use Ninja Trader as well, we can go ahead and do a couple of videos for that as well. But today's video is going to be on a simple how to scale on Sierra Charts. So we're taking an easy ES chart here, so S&P 500. Uh, for a range chart, it can really be any chart, hourly, daily, four hour, doesn't really matter. Um, but we'll take a simple chart here and show you guys exactly how we actually scale. Scale means to use the axes, X and Y axis, horizontal and vertical axes here on the chart uh, to show you how to move it, right? So a lot of times what you wanna do is just make sure that your tool here is on pointer. This will allow you to click that screen and move it left and right and uh, also depending on what you have in your settings it will also be you'll be able to move it uh, up and down as well but let's go ahead and look at the default settings we have so far interactive scale move and scale range constant range right so what this does is if i move this uh right here on the right hand side i'm moving it up and down and if i move this on the bottom the bottom axis um, i'm moving it in and out you can see it zooming in and you can see it zooming out a simple quick tip you guys could use if you want to actually go uh, and expand these bars here is if you do have it stuck here on interactive scale move what you can do is just press the control button hold that down and then press on this axis here pulling down or up it will expand the bars here and also compress the bars there as well and a pretty simple way to actually do it if you guys want to zoom in again that's uh same simple at the bottom axis you can just move that in and out right so simple things now same thing you can click on interactive scale range what this will do again is expand that that for you and if you want that uh, simple trick you just control click that control and then move this it will allow you to move the chart up and down because uh, if you try to keep it on interactive scale range this will only let you expand those uh, bars here if you move it over to interactive scale move you'll only be able to move that up and down so again clicking on that control on the keyboard and then uh, moving this axis here on the right hand side will allow you if you're on interactive scale move uh, to actually expand these bars right so you could switch it up uh, another quick cool uh, tip that you guys could do if you guys don't want to do it one by one like how you see uh, us doing it here uh, what you could do actually is uh, and you go in here you can also set it to set x and y constant relationship what that will basically do is here on this right side bar when you when you put your mouse it will allow you to zoom out right and move the chart and it will allow you to zoom back in just like that right so it pretty much joins them together we can do two things at one time so pretty cool thing that you could do there um, but again uh, if you want to take that off all you got to do is just set x and y constant relationship there you can just set it off and you'll go back to normal um, another cool thing too is you could use here scale range automatic uh, which will basically allow us to move in here um, and if you like say for instance you messed up the chart uh, looking like this and you got a bunch of wide bars here but you could do another uh, cool trick is you could actually just double click here right on the right hand side bar and it goes right back to where you were at right so if I moved it all the way over here on a uh, just an empty well uh, just a simple area right over here and then all of a sudden my chart went like this all I have to do is take it over here on the right hand side move my mouse over here and then go ahead and double click that and it puts me right back to where we're at so cool little tip there you guys could use what I do like to keep it at though is scale range constant right and then I'll move it between either scale range uh, which again will allow me to uh, expand these bars or compress them like this um, and if I want to move that whole chart up and down I'll just uh, simply just move it right into interactive scale move right if I want to lock this chart where I'm at say I want to keep it at this price action I just got to go over here interactive uh, scale locked make sure I press that and now I can't move it uh, up or down I can only zoom in where I'm currently at and we'll just keep it right there which is a, a good tool to use if you don't want to see the chart continue to move right if price action is still moving to the right hand side as uh 
these sessions are open, uh, it will actually move the chart. So if you want to lock that, you can just go ahead and do interactive scale lock and that will help you lock that. But I simply just use um, go between interactive scale move or interactive scale range to move it up or down or in and out. But again, another simple way to do that is that set that X and Y constant relationship and then you can go ahead and just do it together. <clears throat> and it will go into automatic, but you can go ahead and just set that and uh, it will move it together for you. But that pretty much wraps it up though. That uh, is some simple tips and uh, quick tips to help you guys navigate Sierra charts and how to scale in and out. Uh, next video we're probably going to be putting up for you guys is going to be how to use some tools on Sierra charts. So again, if you guys do like these videos here, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. You guys take care.